Well, a new federal report provides proof that more American children are suffering from food allergies. Dr. Kim joins us with the dirt on what may be feeding the increase. You know, scientists don't know for sure what's behind this jump in allergies, but not playing in the dirt could be playing a dirty trick on your child's immune system. New research from the CDC finds childhood food allergies jumped 18 percent in the past decade. Well, I see many more children with food allergies. The evidence also shows children with food allergies are more likely to have asthma and other allergic diseases. And we don't really know why there's more allergies and asthma, but there are many very interesting theories. Dr. Homer Boucher of UCSF points to what's called the hygiene hypothesis which in its simplest terms states that the rise in allergies and asthma is an unintended consequence of modern hygiene. A consequence of being a little too clean around young infants. Researchers studied kids who grew up on farms around animals. The more contact with the animals, the lower the rates of allergies and asthma. So now we're actually wondering if there's something about manure. Industrialized nations may be at greater risk. After the fall of the Berlin Wall, researchers thought they'd uncover an epidemic of asthma and allergies in East Germany, where coal is burned and the air is choked with sulfur dioxide. And to our surprise, children in East Germany had less allergy and less asthma, more bronchitis, but fewer allergies than did the children in the developed, wealthy, less polluted West. If the hygiene hypothesis plays out, children in the Bay Area may need to play more in the dirt when they're quite young. If it's going to help health-wise, dig in, dig deeper. I go by the old adage that um, a kid should probably eat about a pound of dirt before they turn five. Dirt is chock full of harmless microbes, and that might just tune up a baby's developing immune system. Now here's another interesting study. Researchers examined the diapers, what's in the diapers, of 1,000 babies and found those babies from developed nations had an imbalance of important microbes in their gut. Researchers are studying whether adding some important microbes to an infant's diet may tune up that baby's immune system so the baby won't develop asthma or even allergies. So, I'm sure you can imagine what that study would have been like. Job. It's a dirty job. <laughs> is, is there anything else possibly at play here? What about food additives? You know, that's one thing that they're trying to sort out. We have so many additives in tiny amounts in food today. Nobody knows for sure. Another possibility is the way that we manufacture food or maybe dry roasting peanuts. Has that done something? It's not really clear. But I, I do think the hygiene hypothesis has a lot going on here. Now, I've heard one thing, too, that maybe if you had pets growing up, that helps with allergies. Is that true? Absolutely. There has been very good evidence that kids growing up in a household with dogs or cats, I mean, think about it. You're certainly exposed to a lot more with pets who are licking your face or licking your hands, things like that. You're around a lot more things you might be otherwise not exposed to. So, yeah, I think that helps as well. All right. Okay. Thanks a lot, Kim. You bet.